Hello again everyone, as usual I'm Buff Bud, and today we are back with another episode of Terraria Season 2 Calamity. So last episode, we decided to go check out the, uh, the sea over here, now that we have some, you know, stuff to be able to go in here. Uh, and then we also ended up, uh, checking out the dungeon, and we got down to somewhere, I don't know where exactly, but, oh, is that, uh, chest in here somewhere anyway uh, <clears throat> so we explored the dungeon a little bit but off camera I explored the, the rest of it and going through it I have found quite a few interesting things so as you can see we found the jungle chest last episode uh, let's see then we went a little deeper and we found the aquatic depths chest so that's a thing uh, then we also found an underworld chest. I think that's actually where we left off roughly, simply because we didn't really have enough time to check out the rest of it. Um, but further down, I did find a desert chest. Um, a crimson chest. An astral chest. A hallowed chest. A frozen chest, and I think that's it. Yeah. So it seems like in modded, there are quite a few extra chests in the uh, dungeon. Normally there's like four, but no. Um, also, I got this new weapon called Carnage. 58 melee damage. It's awesome. Uh, a guy from a Blood Moon. What is going on with these NPCs? Half of them are out of their places. The other half of them are like... Not even here. Hold on. No, you stay there. There we go. Oh, no. God dang it. Okay, hold on. Who goes where? Okay, you go up here. You go up here. You. You. Oh, I'm out of mana, aren't I? I keep forgetting that I need mana to do this. You go there. Oh wait, the Dryad's in the wrong spot too. Okay, you come up, no. Come up here, the Nurse Lady. Come up here. I think everyone else should be relatively good now, except for Truffle. Truffle for some reason is still out of here. I don't know why. Truffle always escapes though. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I got this uh, Carnage weapon from a Blood Moon. Which is awesome. Um, I was actually trying to farm blood moons because I wanted to get blood orbs so I could make more potions without um, the potion supplies. It it didn't work out too well. From each blood moon, I maybe got like 12 blood orbs, which equals out to one potion. So it didn't really work out. Um, but I also ended up getting this staff of necros... necros... Sites. I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but whatever. I got this from the dungeon as well. It gives me little uh, 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 skeleton dudes. And it's 33 summon damage, so that is better than the cat already. So, yeah. Um, off camera, I also ended up getting some potions. Where did I put them? Are they in my safe, maybe? They're in my safe. Okay. I got some potions. Because I found out that there is actually a crafting recipe involving them. Um, it's called the Potion of Om Omniscience? I don't know. It highlights creatures, project uh, projectiles, danger sources, and treasure. And it just uses Hunter Potion, Spelunker Potion, and Danger Sense Potion. And an Alchemy Table. Okay. I'm pretty sure we have an Alchemy Table in here, don't we? Um, yeah, alchemy table. Okay, so if I throw uh, these, oh, that's that's crafting. If I throw these in here, there we go. That should work. And then, yep, here we go. Craft that up. That's weird. Okay, and now that I have sixty of them, nice. So basically, that one thing gives me the power of all three of those things. 
which is awesome. Plus, I also got some Shine Potions, uh, Gills Potions, which don't matter anymore, and then we also had the Sulfur Skin Potions already. Um, although, I did find some other potions that might work better than, uh, than the Shine Potions. Uh, I believe the... Uh, who are you, the Brewer? I think you're the Brewer. No, it's not there. Um, Calamity? Yeah, Sunshine Potion. It increases light radius greatly. Now, to make that, it takes Fire Blossoms, Day Blooms, Moon Glows, Blink Roots, and the, you know, usual bottled water. Problem is, those are very hard to come by, even with our um, uh, farm down below. So, that's going to take a while to get, because either we're going to have to buy them, which is very expensive, or we're going to have to make them. So, yeah. Uh, and right now, since we have not defeated the Wall of Flesh, Fire, blo uh, fire Blossoms, Fire Blooms, whatever they're called, are very hard to come by. So, yeah. Uh, but we have those now. Um, and I am going to go... That was weird lag. Okay. I am going to go over here and explore the uh, island. Oh, also, actually, I'm going to come down here and get some more Gravitation Potions. Okay, we have 13. That's fine. Um, so I'm almost wondering, if I use a buff... Oh, right! Uh, I got this uh, Theses' thread from the uh, tracker, because killing the Minotaur actually was a quest. It actually teleports you directly to the dungeon. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, um, I'm not sure if using the quick buff button... Oh, I know, it shouldn't, because we already have the buffs. Do I want to risk it? I mean, I can easily buy both of those. They can't be too expensive. I'll risk it when it's time to. Uh, but at any rate, I do want to go get the ocean potion. There we go. Because... That's not the right button. There we go. Okay. But now we are here. Nice. Now that we are uh, over on this side of the world, it'll be a lot quicker for us to get to the uh, floating island. Because we won't have to travel the entire distance. So yeah. we. Oh, look at that. There's Crimtane. Oh, no, that's not Crimtane. Oh, those are thorns! Okay. Ow. Alright. Oh! Right, another thing. Uh, I also made the uh, REK 3000, uh, which is basically the step right before the PDA. Uh, it involved the tally counter that we finally got through the dungeon, the life form analyzer, and the radar. So we got that. To make the PDA, we need the GPS, uh, we need the fish finder, goblin tech, and the REK. I think we have basically all of these except for the fish finder. And for the fish finder, we can actually craft that. Like, we can craft all the components that go into that. So we can basically make the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, uh, PDA and cell phone already. Alright. Oh, is this just a lake one? That's so boring, dude. Wait, what is this? Okay, some kind of new, uh, thing. Alright. This is just a lake. This is literally just a lake. That is so boring, dude. What is that? Okay, whatever. So I am going to attempt a quick buff to give myself the gravitation effect and see what happens. Oh, we did keep them. All right, so we are going to travel the world and look for uh, more uh, islands. How high does this go? Oh my god. I thought the, uh... Oh my god, what is up with my dude? I thought the floating islands were kind of like... Near the really top of the world. But that one is like... Barely even there. Alright. So... In medium-sized worlds, which we have... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's... About an average of four... Uh, floating islands per world... 
So we should be able to have a round two on each side. What the frick is that? Wind elemental. Okay, that's weird. Hey, buddy. Okay, so far nothing. This is kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. I was hoping to run into one already. I'm assuming the wind elementals just spawn in space, because I didn't see any land for that thing to spawn on. Well, wait, what the heck? Hello. Oh, I'm not going up high enough. What? There we go. Interesting. Have I really not been going up high enough this whole time? Hey, look, a harpy. Diamonds! Okay. I mean, I'll take these. It's not really worth it for me, though, because... Or, uh, I'll, I'll take these, but I'm not going to take the, uh... Uh, what do you call it? The, uh, life, uh, crystal, simply because it's, you know, doesn't matter to me. There we go. Not at this point, anyway. Oh, wait. Alright, fine. Let's do this. There we go. Yes. Death! Death to the hoppies! Okay. I'm missing one. Where did I miss one? Why am I missing one? Oh no, because that was a uh, diamond. Okay, right. So I didn't go up nearly high enough. Do you think there actually would be one in that area, though? I don't think there would be. Twenty-one seconds, yikes. Oh, there is another one! Look at that. What are you, even? A nestling. What, are you like a freaking baby harpy or something? There we go. Amethyst. Okay, so there's like... Gem-filled geodes? Or something? That is interesting. Let me out! I'm stuck. Okay. There we go. Alright, so let's uh, rebuild this quick. Alright, and then... Do I want to get that one? Yeah, I want to get that one. Um, Alright, fine. Let's do it this way. There we go. Okay, harpies are normally pretty awful, but they don't seem like they are terrible, terrible. Okay, my little dude there is stuck. He seems to get stuck very often, honestly. Okay, so... Close that, buff again. Yeah, I thought I already reached the top of the world before. Do you think there is going to be another geode at the very top of the world here? Probably not. Right? Okay, real quick, I'm going to do this. Alright, so let's come over here. And basically just skirt along the top of the world. That's a really weird sentence. There's got to be another one somewhere around here, right? Or something around here. Okay. See, I didn't think that there was going to be anything else nearby, but apparently that is a lie. Interesting. 
Okay, we are over the ocean now. So we're getting to the edge. So I feel like if there is anything, it would be here, but there is not. Okay. That didn't work. What the frick? What the frick? I accidentally pressed the mount button and I have a mount? I have a mount? Spectral Fang. What? I have a kitty! It doesn't do much, but... It, okay. I didn't even know I had that kitty. I swear to God. Alright, let's just keep flying. Alright, so where do we need to go next? It's a tab, right? Yeah, okay. Ow! This overlay is a bit, uh, weird. I don't use it too often. <clears throat> I didn't expect, uh, looking for islands to be this exciting, honestly. Then again, you and I might have very different definitions of exciting. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Um, See, so yeah, if there's these geodes in the top of the world, that's definitely kind of nifty. I love how my dude is just glitching out so much. So it seems like those geodes... Oh, God. Whew. I ran out there. Uh, it seems like the geodes are more towards the center of the world rather than the edges. Okay, so let's come on up. There should be another one close by if I had to guess. Oh, no. There's a mushroom geode? What? What? Um. Okay. That's weird. And there is something else over there, though. That's weird, man. Okay, that's just a normal geode. Looks like rubies, probably. Ow. I was hoping I'd be able to, uh, break that projectile, but I couldn't. Stab it. Okay. So let's get deeper in here. There we go. Okay. So now we can build our way out. I'm glad I can build around my dude here. Hey! Traveling merchant. Nice. We might need to take a detour home. Oh, you're kidding me. Let me place that block. Alright, then I'm gonna do that. Ouch! Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god! Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's just uh, continue this way, I guess. I'm assuming any uh, islands would be around here. This level, I should say. This is so weird. What mod even adds these random, like, balls up here? I don't know why I'm still swinging. Okay, you know what? I think we're just gonna leave these geodes from now on. I'll come and get them if we need the gems inside them, but... For now, I think we'll just leave them. Still no islands, though. That's really shocking. Oh, there we go. Nice. I was hoping for an island soon. And I just flooded the house. Great. Sky mill. Nice. We needed one of them. Okay. And then I will take that. I'll leave the rest. Although I will try and harvest these things. Nice. We got seeds. Oh, no. I want that plant. Uh, 
Whee! Do you think we can make it up here in, like, ten seconds? Yes. Yes, we can. Good. I wonder how you're supposed to harvest, or not harvest, but farm these things. It looks like they can only be uh, harvested for seeds in the top levels of the world, maybe? Or maybe from clouds. I don't know. What the frick? Another one? Interesting. Okay. No freaking way! They're giving me planter boxes! Oh, I'm a happy, happy boy. Okay, so I need to get some stuff in here, I guess. Um, herb bags, I will keep those. Um, diamonds, I guess I'll keep those. I don't know what that is, so I'll keep that, I'll keep that. Uh, I'll keep those, I'll keep that, and that. Ow. Freaking harpies, man. Okay. There we go. There's that thing again. Okay, herb bag. Encrypted schematic. That's interesting. Um, let's throw that in there. Uh, let's throw the red balloon in there, I guess. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have to come back here because we don't have the inventory room for all this. This is weird, dude. I wonder how many more of these there are. Oh, there's a jungle one, too? Is there, like, just a biomes... Uh, uh, oh, hello. There's a chest in there. So I can't get that just yet, because I do not have inventory. Okay, here's another one. Oh, that's a jungle one again. Interesting. Oh my god. That's a vein and a half. That's gonna be fun to use the vein miner on. Okay. So let's fall down again. Okay, so where are we in relation to the world? If I had to guess, we're probably starting to get close to the... Oh no, the ice is still way far over. Okay. Interesting. This is so cool, dude! I was hoping to get to the jungle today, but this is way better than I would have expected. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's also a thing up above, too. Just a vein. Oh god. Ah! Oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Ah, what is going on? Jesus Christ, I hate that. Okay, so I'm going to fall. Oh, there we go. Okay, hey, there's another strange plant. Nice. Oh, what can I get rid of? I'll get rid of mushrooms. Okay. So we are like a little over halfway through the world, but we cannot take anything else. So I'm going to need to come back here. I'm also going to capture this guy. There we go. That's not weird at all. What are you talking about? All right. Anyway. Uh, so <clears throat> can we just toss everything? Let's not toss that. Or that. I think we can toss everything else. Okay. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Deposit all of those. Alright, so let's open our piggy bank. Take everything back. Oh, we had more herb bags. Alright. Um, there we go. Now toss all those back in. Right? I think. 
I thought there was something else I wanted to keep, but I guess not. Oh well. Let's go pick up our merchant. Thank you. Okay. And did I put them in here? No, where did I put them? I guess I have them all down below. Um. Okay, yeah, I do have my anglers in here. Okay. So yeah, if you uh, take your anglers... No, not anglers. Um, what am I trying to make? Equipment. Yes. Um, so we have these sextant. What else do we need? We need the weather radio and the fisherman's pocket guide. The radio. So if we take the the angler, we can actually craft a weather radio with just one of them. So we can craft that, and then we can also craft the pocket guide with one of them. And then if we open our piggy bank, take this out. Let's go up to our tinker station. We can make the fish finder, and then. We could take these, and we can make the PDA, and then we can make the cell phone. And apparently, this can be turned into co oh, sorry, turned into a couple other things here, but those are way beyond what we need, so we're not gonna bother with that. But now we can also just boop. So yeah, that's awesome. Um. I guess I'll throw this in my piggy bank for now. There we go. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay. So we have a lot more to explore. Jesus Christ. Like, we need to get the rest of the stuff in here. We need to go to the jungle uh, stuff. Get the chests. This is madness. Okay, so I believe it was, like, up here then, right? That's a jungle thing. Anyway. Let's actually come over here. There we go. Alright. Sharpening station. Nice. Not, you know, great, but not awful. I don't want that uh, honey seeping out to the rest of the world. There we go. Okay. No, come on. <clears throat> okay. So I do see a bunch of other stuff in here, but I don't really know what half of it is. Like, what is all this stuff? Is that functional stuff or what? Okay, apparent danger while researching serves only to enhance the research experience. Okay. Am I supposed to break this? Did I break the other one? I don't think I did break the other one. Huh. I'm just gonna leave that alone for now then. Because I don't know if there's any reason for me to do anything with that. Alright, so let's go to the other jungle thing. It's over here. Alright. Carefully vein mine. Or not vein mine. What am I talking about? Carefully dig through. I like how uh, the chest there is kind of mimicking the queen larva. Or whatever it's called. Another sharpening station. Photosynthesis potion. Interesting. Alright. Um, oh, I accidentally... Oh, no, that's honey. Thank God. Okay. Alright, so because I don't want to take the other potions, I will throw them into my thing here real quick. I feel like I might have accidentally taken a couple of potions uh, before, but whatever. 
Okay, so then there was another island over here that we need to get to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that island did actually have a chest. I wish I could fly, though. Oh, this is so slow. What else are we going to find here, I wonder? There's a thing. Okay. Hey, look at that. Star Fury. Uh, Star Fury. I'm sure that'll come in handy sometime in this mod pack. Oh, no. I got gills. Dang it. Wait, what? Okay. Interesting. Oh, another jungle one? No. This is not a jungle one. Well, it is a jungle one, but it doesn't have jungle... Uh, stuff. It just has a, a marine cave? Diving helmet! Do we have flippers? I don't remember if we had flippers. I feel like I remember getting flippers, though. God dang it. Oh my god. Stop it, you guys. Get some help. Oh, come on. I hate harpies so much. Why is there so many? Oh my god. I need something to get rid of knockback at this moment. Alright, so let's come back. Okay. Hey, another one. Nice. Looks like it's just a vein mine one, though. Nothing super great. Oh, what the heck? Oh, this is a, uh... Okay. I was so confused for a second there. Alright. Lucky horseshoe, that's nice. Lucky horseshoes are always helpful, especially when they can be crafted into other stuff later on. Geode. Okay, so we've got to be getting close to the uh, other side of the world, right? Like, how far is it? Do you think? Okay, there is another island, but it is just another lake island, unfortunately. Interesting. Hello. Okay, so there is a massive gap there, so there might be something over there that I missed. Ow, I flew right into that. Nope, okay, nothing there. Okay, so we got 35, 34, 33 seconds. Can we make it to the edge of the world with that little bit of time? Probably not, but we can try. I'm really hoping we can, because I really don't want to waste more uh, potions if I don't have to. I really do feel like we are getting close to the edge. Huh? That's all demonite. So apparently you can get a crim uh, corruption chest in a crimson world, and vice versa. <clears throat> That's amazing. What is this stuff I'm standing on, though? Ebonstone? Really? Interesting. Oh, frick. I lost the uh, potion. That is really interesting, actually. I'm assuming you could get the uh, Crimson in the Corruption world then, too, maybe? Interesting. 
I thought we were gonna have to go to a um uh go to our other world and then just grind out there to be able to get that world's um uh chest, but I guess not. Oh wait, are we not at the top of the world again? Uh there's a little bit. There's like a little stripe here. How far does this stripe go? How far did I miss? I doubt there's going to be anything in this little teeny stripe. Oh, it goes so far. There might actually be something. Like another geode or something. Yeah, it seems like... Uh, well, actually, no. Probably not. Because we are in the uh, outer edges of the world. So there's probably not going to be anything here. This is so cool, though, dude. Okay. So I think what we are going to do is we're going to just fall down. Get down here. And then just run, because I feel like running is way faster. Oh, we are at the edge of the world. God dang it. Okay. Wait, what? Why is there a block in the sky? Yeah, so there probably isn't anything here, actually. Yeah, okay. That'll be it, then. Alrighty. So that was a lot more interesting than I thought it would be, honestly. I thought it would just be a couple islands here and there, but there's a bunch up there. Interesting. So let's quickly get out of the uh, sea here. And then, hold on. Grandma see a bird outside because he is going crazy right now. Okay, there we go. We should be relatively safe here. All right, so we have a crimson island. We have a lake. We have an island, a bunch of floating islands. Island, this weird thing, whatever that is, it looks like a freaking Pokeball. Lab turret, lab turret. Interesting. Yeah, it seems like it's just like the middle three-fifths of the world. It's not even like the middle third of the world. I don't know. But at any rate, let's do that. Okay. So, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, so, next time, uh, we are going to try and check out the, uh, the jungle over here again. Um, and then off camera, I think I'm going to go through all these islands and try and, uh, collect any resources that there might still be. Like, I know one of these islands has, I think it's this one, has a massive vein of, uh, uh, something. That'll be really fun to vein mine. Um, and then, yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's really much more, uh, to do. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But anyway, uh, we're going way over on time for this episode, so I'm going to have to end it here. If you guys did enjoy this episode, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, and have a great day, then. Goodbye.